Craig. So our next topic for this meeting is stating the main idea of events. So our lesson objectives for this discussion, at the end of the lessons, the students will be able to identify the topic and main idea of Mars text and express the main idea in their own words. So before we begin our proper discussion for this lesson, I want to ask this question. What is your strategy to remember the most important detail of information, even though you might forget its minor details? Um, let me ask Angel, Angel Rojas. Angel. Angel, no response. Um, how about Jazel Soliano? Jazel, Okay, how about June Mar? Okay. What is your strategy to remember the most important detail of information, even though you might forget its minor details? So, what's your answer to this question about your strategy. Uh, I don't have idea. <laughs> wow. I have idea. Um, not just in academic setting, but in other situations. What is your strategy? Ano lang sir, sa, kung sa, kaya lang, sa, sa ako lang mga concert ay, for example sir, kaya lang, sa mga gamit, na may na, isang ba natin lang, example sir, sa, sa, kaya lang sir, ang yung mga, gawi, mga yun na sir ba sir, para ma, kaya lang siya pa. Ma, ma remember lang yun dang kon, ano niya ano? Hindi mo kaya naik. So okay. thank you for your answer. Alright, so the main idea or thesis. Okay, the main idea is a thesis or main point of an informational text. It can be expressed anywhere in a material, in a material or paragraph either at the beginning or middle or at the end. So basically, we say main idea is the main message of the text. It summarizes the whole message of the text. So from your main idea, you can synthesize okay. the similar ideas being implied of all the details that you can read in a text. Writer, writers refer to the topic by actually repeating the key term using synonyms or other names or other names for it or using pronouns. So um, in writing in writing the or in identifying the main idea of the text, you will notice the words that are recurring, meaning words that are being repeatedly used by the writer. And you can also use synonyms or pronouns. Mm. 
say for example for the topic Mani Pacquiao, his name may be mentioned several times or the material used his other names like Tomben Sankama or People's Champ or a Division Champion, Congressman Pacquiao, Pacman or he. So for this specific example, you will understand that the main idea of the text is Mani Pacquiao if the author commonly use terms that describe Mani Pacquiao. Right. So if stated at the beginning, then you can expect the sentences that follow to support or develop the main idea. This is what we call deductive order. So if the main idea of the text is stated at the beginning of the text, then that's what we call deductive order, meaning from general to specific. Uh, minor details are followed after you provided or stated the main idea. That's deductive order. If the thesis is expressed at the end, then the earlier statements are details, specifics that build up on the main point or general statement. This text follows the inductive order. So if the main idea or the thesis is expressed at the end, that's what we, what we call, excuse me, inductive order. What if the main idea or thesis is not expressed or is implicit in the text? How do you determine the main idea? Obviously, you first have to know the topic of the text, consider the words that are repeated throughout the material that refer to the same subject. Most probably, that is the topic of the, of the material. So first is, if the main idea is not explicitly expressed in the text, you need to know the topic first. What's the topic? Then you identify, as what I have said earlier, you need to find or notice the words that are recurring or repeatedly used by the author. Okay, try to express what is being said about this keyword, preferably one sentence per idea. Then group the sentences whose ideas in just one sentence. And finally, combine the ideas and try to come up with one sentence to summarize them all. This is the text or main idea or thesis. So you synthesize or summarize the details into just one sentence or one phrase. So you need to consider the ideas they infer in order to know their similarities or commonalities. Another clue may be the title. For example, a title such as War over Jihad suggests a debate or conflict on the war term Jihad because it is war over Jihad. So the writer is most probably going to express his side on that debate. So another clue in order to know the main idea of the text is to look at the title itself. So since, just like in news, the headline, so usually the headline it summarizes the whole content of the text or of the news. So another way is to look at the title because the site, because the title itself already suggests what is the message of the text. Determining or inferring the main idea or thesis does not only apply to informational texts, although they constitute the bulk of learning materials in school, but also to audiovisual materials such as films and advertisement. So main ideas are not just present in written text, but also in audiovisual materials, such as in movies, in TV series. They also have motifs and themes that could be their main idea, or even the, the genre that could be used as your clue in order to know what's the main idea of the text. Just like, for example, if you're familiar with the film Parasite, the, know, the South Korean film, it's very famous film. So if you try to understand the film, you'll see that the main point of the, of the movie is to convey the social inequalities in South Korea. There's the, the, 
upper or higher class and there's the lower class. So there's a conflict between these two families because of their different social status. However, in dealing with audiovisual materials, in addition to language, you have to consider visual details such as color, shape, facial expression, gesture, and position, and oral details such as tone, pitch, and volume. So you can also, when you analyze a film or TV series, you can also consider, you may also consider the type of color or the facial expression, or even the acting quality of the actors and actresses, even the paralinguistics of the characters when they speak or when they talk. So you can use that as your basis of your analysis. At the heart of determining the thesis or main idea of, this, of something is the ability to see patterns and common denominator behind details. You can apply this skill in everyday life. Okay, for example, when interacting with a person whose frequent comments, equivalent to textual details, have to do with how superior he or she is to others, then maybe his or her unspoken thesis or point is, I should be this project or ask me, I know more, or words to that effect. So which means that main idea can also be implicated in everyday or normal situation or normal conversation. So by understanding the main idea in conversation, you will know the intention of people when they say something, or even their personalities and attitudes. So you will know the way they speak, the way they talk to other people, the way they behave. You will know their personalities or attitudes, their their motives, their intentions. So that's how useful the idea is. So that's the end of the discussion. Do you have questions or clarifications? Walana? And by the way, in lesson two, uh, not, not in lesson two, in lesson one, there's an assessment activity wherein you need to make an outline out of the text. I also provided the source text, but I will also provide a sample of a text with an outline of that text. I will just post it in our Schoology online course. Okay, so tomorrow we have a schedule. Just have to work with your activity assessment activities in the module so that you can submit to me by Saturday anytime. I think that's it if you don't have questions anymore. Wala na. I think it's a wrap to say, uh, this concludes our discussion for this meeting. So I will end the conversation or end the room.